Hi friends, Scott Brookins here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, you might be looking at this and saying, gosh, he's never done a video like this before, and, and you'd be right. Um, this is a, uh, a new expansion of our ministry. Um, God called me to the ministry 22 years ago, or actually 23 years ago in 1994. Um, we've been serving him full time for 22 years. And when I say we, it, it's been my wife and I, Laura, and our two kids, Ethan and Amelia, you know, as they were growing up, we, we traveled together. Um, and, and then we're, you know, our ministry is our supporters and the churches that support us. And so uh, it's just been a, an amazing uh, journey that God has called it me to. Um, and, you know, our ministry is, is, is changed in 22 years and expanded and God sent us to different places around the country. Um, to Central and Eastern Europe many, many times to live there and to work and then into Africa, Uganda, and a little bit in Kenya. And, um, and so this is really just an expansion of what I feel God's telling me to do. You know, about four years ago, God narrowed our ministry to just be working in Uganda. Um, he directed me to stop the music part of our ministry and, and, and really then that kind of stopped the ministry in, in Europe. Um, but just to focus on what he had already had us been doing in Uganda since 2004 and, and just be there. And so, and it's been an amazing ride in these last several years to see what God's doing and letting us uh, be a part of what he's doing, impacting so many lives through the Voices of Love School, um, supporting abandoned women and their kids and widows and their kids and, and adults and giving them Bibles. And it's just amazing to see what God is doing and hearing the testimonies. Uh, especially when we go there each year. Um, so this is an expansion of, of, of what we've been doing. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy these. Uh, I really don't know what God's going to have me share. Uh, it could be once a week. It could be live. It could be several times a week. I, I'm just kind of open to what God is going to have us do. You know, in our ministry, I've done concerts and I've spoken in a lot of different churches around the country in Europe and Africa and uh, in classrooms and prisons and concert halls and bars and nightclubs. And so the internet is just another way for me to share what God's going to be putting on my heart and has been for, you know, a couple years now. And in the last six months or so, um, I've been praying a lot about this and, and really with some uh, encouragement from Laura and, and some close friends and supporters that it, it's time to um, share what God wants me to share. And so I hope you're going to enjoy these. I hope you'll like these and share them. Um, if I'm live, I hope you join me. But if not, you can still watch the recording and, and share them. And, and I, I pray that anything I say uh, will impact someone's life, at least one. Um, in our travels, no matter if I did a concert in front of two people or 10,000, um, I always prayed that I was there for one person. And so each of these videos is going to be the same on my heart. And... Um, so I want to remind us <clears throat> that each of us, um, no matter if we're followers of Jesus Christ and have a relationship with him or not, each of us have been given gifts and talents from God. And we're to use those, first of all, to, to God's glory, but secondly, to, to impact other people with those. And so this morning, um, I want to read a verse out of First Peter, and it's chapter 4, verse 10 and 11. And it says, each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, he should do it as one speaking the very words of God. If anyone serves, he should do it with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. And so it doesn't matter what your gifts or talents are. You know, when we, when we hear the word serving, you know, we, we think of... Uh, you know, being a missionary, going overseas or with the Peace Corps or serving at a soup kitchen or the homeless shelters. And, and, and those are great things. And if God's called you to that or encouraged you to do that, then do that. But no matter what we do, whether we're missionaries or pastors or musicians or dancers or singers or school teachers, business people, um, street sweepers, it doesn't matter what we do, we should do it all to the glory of God and to impact other people's lives. You know, um, I think it was Martin Luther King Jr. that said, and this is not an exact quote, but he said, if you're a street sweeper, be the best you can be. 
as if just like Michelangelo painted and Beethoven uh, wrote composed music and Shakespeare wrote poetry, be the best street sweeper you can be so that people look from heaven and on earth and say, as you walk by, there's the best street sweeper there ever has been. And you'll impact lives through that. And so I pray that uh, you'll join me on this journey. Um, I'm going to be sharing some stories from our ministry over the years, um, some of the challenges, some of the, the miracles that God has done. Uh, there's going to be some stories I won't be able to share on the internet because of where God sent me. Um, but we could, you know, we've shared those in live uh, conversations or in, in churches. But uh, and we'll also share some stories of people that we've met around the world and, and uh, just how God is using them or has used them or how they've impacted our lives. And so um, I look forward to this. And so please, again, like and share this and uh, have an amazing day and go inspire someone else to do the same. God bless.